Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to do a video that I've been doing annually for the past four years. So I have four videos of it are the Easter basket ideas for your guys' kids. And I always do an inexpensive basket. I never go out above and beyond. Maybe last year I did go a little bit more expensive on the Easter baskets. But this year I'm going to do uh, low budget. So uh, basically everything is from the dollar store or the 99 cent store. I didn't get anything at Target, anything at Walmart, and anywhere that is more than the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store. So everything you're going to see in this video is from tar or Target, from the dollar store or the 99 cent store. So yeah, these are very inexpensive Easter baskets. The reason why I'm making them inexpensive Easter baskets is because they're going to be getting two Easter baskets, one from my us, my husband and I, and then one from my mom. So they're going to be having two Easter baskets. They do not need expensive baskets. So I mean, but the baskets I've made, I'm actually pretty proud of myself for them. I want to give myself a pat on the back because they're really good, especially from the 99 cent store. The 99 cent store has a lot of good things, like good things. I've never been to the like the 99 cent store to go shopping. And when I went there with my mom, I was like, whoa girl like there is some really good stuff here so uh, yeah i'm gonna get right into the video so i don't have a long -o intro but anyways yeah let's get right into it so i want to start off by showing you guys what i got at dollar tree if you guys have more than one kid this is definitely good to do they're the basket bags and they come in a two pack so there's two in here and they're super cute and they have a tie for them like it actually looks like a shoelace which I think is very cute and then it has the to and from little um, tags so you can put on there these are super cute I just got gender neutral when you're doing Easter bags of course there's always going to be purple or pink in there so you cannot bypass that so of course there's going to be pink but I tried to get it as gender neutral as possible because I do have a son and I have a daughter. So if you guys are new, I'm going to be showing you guys the baskets that I made for my son and my daughter. My daughter is going to be five in July. So she's about four and a half right now. And then my son is going to be two in about two weeks. So yeah, I'm going to have a five and two year old not too long from now. So these are going to be basket ideas for those age ranges. I do have videos from when they were um, a lot smaller. If you guys want to check those out, I'll put links down below and like maybe an e-card right here but uh yeah so I'm gonna get right into it I will go on to show my daughters first the kids do have two baskets because I bought them one from Target last year and I really love that one and I want them to use it again but while we were at Dollar Tree they picked out their own baskets so I was like I can't say no like they really like these baskets and I don't want to take the fun out of it for them so I'm just gonna put the baskets they picked out it's small enough inside of the basket that they had last year the baskets are really adorable that they had last year and I just want to continue them to use them I but I mean the baskets that they got this year were only a dollar so I was like you know what why not so I just let them pick their own so I'll show you the baskets that they picked on their own all right so this is the basket that Naraya had picked out um at Dollar Tree so it's actually really cute it has like a little ropey type of um detail on this part and then it's just purple it looks like a little basket her favorite color is purple and then it's kind of a little bent but this is the one that I got from Target last year and I really love these baskets Naraya got pink and TJ got blue so TJ looks exactly like this but it's blue and I think I'm just gonna go and put this one on the inside of it because I want their baskets to look big I don't want them to look like little like this because the paper that's gonna be going over it is pretty big so um, yeah but these are their baskets. So just to let you guys know, I didn't go with a theme for either basket. I just got a bunch of stuff that I know they're going to like. My kids are not picky at all. They do not get upset over if something wasn't a theme or if it wasn't something they didn't want. They love absolutely everything you will get them. Like they love, especially like the dollar stores when we go in there, they love getting stuff from there. So they're not picky at all. So I just wanted to get like a bunch of stuff that they are actually into right now at the moment and then um, just put it all in one basket. So it wasn't really a theme, it's just a bunch of themes all mixed into one, or a bunch of characters mixed into one. So no theme on baskets, uh, but I'll start. So you can never go wrong with getting bubbles for an Easter basket. 
dollar store has a bunch of bubbles that you can choose from. They have character bubbles that have little characters on it. They have regular big bubbles. Like they just have a bunch. So I got her these. And then they're gonna, well TJ's birthday is in two weeks like I said and he's getting like this really huge gift that is going to be outside and it's gonna have a chalkboard on it so why not get some chalk, it's basically for both of them but I'm putting it in Naraya's basket so got some chalk from the dollar store, you can never go wrong with chalk. And then another thing they're really really into right now and they're not making a mess out of it which is really nice and then lately the days have been good so I've been putting them outside with it but I got her some play-doh I don't know if you guys can and it has an eight pack and it has a lot of colors and that's what I want it for her because she loves different colors like making the colors into different like beings they have a bunch of like play-doh um, cuts so they can cut stuff up with the play-doh and stuff so play-doh and then you can never go wrong with putting peeps in baskets so i got her her favorite color peeps she loves purple and this girl is obsessed with puzzles so i just kind of picked out one that she didn't have already because she has a bunch of puzzles so i got her these pj mask puzzles been wanting this book forever like she's been asking for it because I guess they read it to her at school and then obviously like on her tablet or I've read it to her before so they actually had this at the dollar store which I was really amazed by because I never find like these type of books there so it's actually it was like a steal when I found it and it was the only one so I got her this book she's been wanting this book so bad so I'm glad oops sorry excuse me I'm glad that they had it color books are always the best to get for um, baskets. So I got her this one from the dollar store. And I love dollar store um, color books because they're not just coloring books, they're actually activity books as well. I got her this one from the 99 cent store and I was like, girl, I'm going back to the 99 cent store. They have a bunch of stuff. It's a shimmer and shine. Look how huge this is. Like, look at it compared to my head. And it's only 99 cents. And she's, she's been into Shimmer and Shine lately, so I was like, you know, gotta get her something Shimmer and Shine. And lastly, that's going in, which I thought was a really good deal at the 99 cents store. It was only $1.99, and you basically build it. It's like a, what's it called? Pop. And it's a My Little Pony. So. And I'll show you a close-up of everything, like, right here on the screen when I'm doing it so that way you guys are not just looking at a far view but I thought this was a really good idea um a good idea this was a really good deal so I'll probably put like a little montage of me putting the baskets together but that's pretty much what I got for Narai's basket I all right so like I said so like I said for TJ's baskets they're pretty much exactly the same it's the one that he picked out at Dollar Tree which I didn't mind getting because it was only a dollar and I mean, I want them to be happy, so I let him pick out one and Raya pick out one. This is probably what they're gonna take to go Easter egg hunting in because it has a little handle. And then this is the one that I got from Target last year. So it's the same as Naraya's, it's just blue, but I'm gonna get right into it because I feel like I've been talking so much. All right, so the first thing I'll show is this little tea ball thing that I got at Dollar Tree. Like, it's so cute and it's very sturdy. It's not something that's so flimsy. It's actually very solid and I think it'll be perfect for him. He is already showing signs of he's into sports. He loves kicking soccer balls. He loves throwing baseballs. Like, he tries to bounce the basketball and make hoops. So I thought, why not get him his first little, like, tee ball thing? And it was only a dollar, like a dollar. And then I got him Play-Doh because like everything Naraya is into, of course this kid wants to follow along as well. It's his big sister, he wants to be doing the same thing she's doing. So I got him a four pack of Play-Doh and this was at the Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree actually has a lot of packs of Play-Doh, like in different types of stuff. They even have the Play School Play-Doh. Um, but I just got this one. I feel like he's really gonna like it a lot, especially because he has like a bunch of molds for it, and so does Naraya. So I got him this, and it says two and up. Tell me two. All of Naraya's learning stuff that she's ever had, and she's very smart. I've gotten everything from the dollar 
uh, tree, so I got him some basic skills, colors, and shape flashcards, and I feel like it's time for him. This was around the time Naraya started learning, but also Naraya started talking a lot faster than him, but I heard that girls talk a lot faster than boys do, but it, it could be different, like every kid is different, but that's what I've heard, and that's what I've heard in my family that that's happened a lot, but um, he's actually saying a lot of words now, it's just around this age Naraya was already saying sentences, uh, but he's gonna get there, he's gonna get there. My husband didn't start talking until he was three, but um, yeah, so, but he needs to start learning his little colors and shapes. He already knows the color blue, red, yellow, and green, so I'm pretty proud of that. And he'll even say it, so out of this, and then of course some peeps, got him some blue peeps. Um, a color book because he loves coloring with his sister, they have like their little um, they play school, and so they'll sit there and color together, and like, Naraya will try to teach him how to spell his name, and I just think it's really cute, but I got him his own little color book, because he doesn't have one yet, and then I got him another color book, Naraya, and I had to get this, because I cannot find puppy dog pals anywhere. Let me know where I can find some puppy dog pal stuff, because I cannot find it anywhere, and they had it at the 99 cent store, this big giant puppy dog pal book. It is so freaking adorable. He's going to love it. So I can't wait to, to I can't wait to see his face when he opens it because he loves um Broly. And then I got him this magnetic drawing board. I've always wanted to find one for the kids. I haven't found one anywhere. I'm pretty sure they're probably at every Walmart and Target. I just don't really look because the kids have their certain aisles they like to go through. But I found this at the Dollar Tree and I was like, you know, I used to play with these a lot when I was a kid and they were so fun. And then he can start um, learning how to uh, hold a pencil, start pinching and picking up things by holding this. So that's going to be a good learning skill for him. Last is this backpack. $2.99 and he doesn't have a backpack yet and like if you guys go into Naraya's room you'll see on her closet she has like this hanging thing. She has about seven backpacks and we just have bought her backpacks like starting from when she was two all the way until now and so he hasn't had a backpack so this will be his first backpack. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna add it into the Easter basket. Um, I'll see how it can fit but I did want to get this in it for him because he doesn't have one yet and he likes Spider-Man. Like, any superhero he won't like, he won't get happy for, he won't point at, he won't be all excited when he sees it in the store, but Spider-Man. Like, he gets so excited when he sees Spider-Man. So I thought this was cute. Anyways, their baskets with everything that I bought in total all came out to about, I want to say I spent about 20 25 dollars on both baskets together not 25 on one 25 on another so 20 i want to say about 23 uh, i don't really do candy i never do candy in easter baskets because we always go to like family parties and they always get so much candy that they don't need candy it's not any health reason wise or anything i'm not like anti-candy they do eat candy it's just i don't put it in their baskets i feel like it takes up a lot of space and then they go on an easter egg hunt and they have so much candy they don't need the ones in their basket if that makes sense. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got some ideas for your guys' kids' Easter baskets. I definitely would check out the 99 cent store. They have a lot of good stuff there. And you don't have to look in the Easter aisle. You can go in the toy aisle. You can go in the other aisles and find cute things for the kids for their Easter basket. It doesn't have to just be necessary Easter things. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys when I see ya.